Book Club, and today we have a guest speaker. His name is Steve. He has a cat. <laughs> it is white. That's all I got. <laughs> I love it. That's this all you need to know. We're talking all about bunnies, rabbits. I don't have it, so sorry, everybody. He does not have a copy of the book. <laughs> I let it down already. No. So who has read Watership Down? Okay, so we're gonna explain it to Andrea and Kelly. Quick synopsis, ready? Okay, there's this, fi this rabbit named Fiverr and he lives in this warren. And Fiverr gets premonitions, I'd say. And sometimes they're good and sometimes they're bad. And so he got this premonition that something bad was gonna happen to the warren. And so he told everyone, I feel like something bad's going to happen. And he got a group of rabbits and they followed him away. And then they went off and started their own adventure, trying to find basically a new home based off of Fiverr's premonition. He took a few friends with him. And so it's all, Watership's Down all about, is all about them um, trying to find a new home, but encountering hurdles along the way. Oh, cool. So, Huh. Is is Fiverr the one who has premonitions though, or is it like his friend? Or is it, oh, I think it's Fiverr, right? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Hazel is his friend. No, and, who, who's the one who has? I don't think it's Fiverr that has the premonition. No, it is. It is. Ah, oh, oh, another controversy with the book club. Where did the stone go? Who has premonition? Who has premonition? All right. Oh it's a really good book, though. I think it's hard to explain, though. Like, if you just told this someone the summary, like, it's a book about rabbits going on an adventure, and it's told from, like, a rabbit's point of view, mm -hmm. then it sounds weird. But it's a really good book. I thought it sounded good. I'd read it. What did something you think of it, Steve? Something I noticed, I've read the book twice, actually, and something I noticed is just, like, how well, it, it didn't stick in my head that much. Like, I had to go back and, like, review what happened, even though I've, like, gone through it twice over the years. It just, it's not very memorable, I felt like. It's it's definitely, it's a good story. Like, it's a good, like, turn, you know, turn, turn the pages, and it's interesting, and it keeps you going. But, like, in terms of, like, something memorable, I didn't feel like it really had that. Like, it, I just don't remember it. All right, the details are hard because I feel like a lot happens though. It's like a huge adventure they go on and like lots of little things happen along the way, but I don't remember most of the little stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's also hard too because like, well, there is so much information there. Um, I was just thinking about how um, the rabbits told like stories and it's this whole other plot within the whole book of this story, other storyline. Do you remember that? Hazel Raw, not Hazel Raw, but. Yeah, El Pura or whatever. El like they, they have like their own legends and myths they talk about. Language too. It's like had like oh, their own words for things, their own religion, mm -hmm. all that was. Yeah. It's like a whole nother society, but with rabbits. Okay. I thought when I was, when we first started it in book club that it was going to be like a children's book. But I was surprised at how like human like qualities they actually had. So is this one of those books like Animal Farm where it's like actually a comment on something big in society or is it literally just a story? So I've actually looked this up and he started by telling these like he made these stories up and told them to his kids at bedtime about like the rabbits and the, them living in Watership Down and the adventures they go on. And then he wrote him down like later because his kids liked him so much. They're like, oh. literally just stories. All right. So if you had to give the book a grade. Make Steve go first. Steve, you have to go first because you're the guest speaker. Well, like an A to an F or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I give it a B or a B plus probably. I mean, the, the biggest thing for me is it's just a story and I, it reminds me like Lord of the Rings or something where it's not really a commentary on anything bigger than itself. Like what you said, it's just a collection of stories and I think it kind of falls in that sense. And then the other part is just not being memorable for me. Uh, if I read a book, I want it to stick in my mind and I want to be able to read some plot points. But I was going back and it really is just five different stories. Like it's a five part book and each part is just distinct from each other. It tells its own story. Um, it's almost like five separate books, five separate stories. Um, so it's 
it's not like one conclusive book, but the stories are great, the characters are great. I, I, I think it's important. We can't hear you. Is he laying on your speaker? <laughs> <laughs> He's like super muffled. To <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I would do. Somebody else can uh, disagree or agree. I have a question though. You said that it, it was just stories and it wasn't like commentary on like a bigger like message. Do you want it? Do you like books better when they're just stories or when they're about something like bigger? Uh, something bigger for sure. Um, and honestly, I'm more of a nonfiction type of person because nonfiction, I feel like I'm actually learning something. Like, I don't want to sit there and like think about it. You know, I want it to like, I want them to tell me in, in some information that I can use in my life that's helpful. And if you just have a collection of stories, like I have to think about it and I'd be like, how does this adventure relate to my own life or what kind of message are they trying to get across? Like, I just, I want them to tell me that immediately, you know? Yeah. You didn't think learning about how to fight birds as a rabbit was useful for you in your everyday life? You don't, You just don't think that's going to come up as a lawyer? No. 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 Fighting rabbits and there's a, there's a seagull in there who carries the rabbits around and there's... <laughs> I don't know. You I thought that was useful. You sound so much like Ross. He won't read fiction. Because he's like, there's no point. I'm not learning anything. Yeah, yeah, I feel the same way. Yeah, and like there, you can learn from fiction books, like absolutely, and and some people are great at that. But like, I don't like to think about it. I want them to to tell me what's up or what point they're trying to make. You know, that's fair. It's a fair rating. It's justified, I'll say. I would rate it a B plus as well. I'm not gonna go A minus. Be well, I'll go A minus because I would read it again. But I think it's based more off of the fact that I don't remember all the details. And I do think it's a good story. Hey. Liz? I'd go A minus also. Because it's one of the few books I would read again. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just, it, I think that it was like, so I also like it because it was like surprisingly good. Like when I first read it, like in high school, I wasn't expecting it to be good. So I think the fact that it was just makes it more compelling. I don't know. Did you know that they made it into a Netflix show? I've no. seen that. I haven't watched the show. I saw like the previews. Was it good? No. I watched the first, I think, three oh. episodes. And it's just kind of odd. When you're reading about rabbits talking, it's one thing. But then you see it, it's different. Their mouths are like, I don't know. It's not animated very well is what I would say. It was kind of creepy. What's it was the like other a one? The <laughs> Peter Rabbit? That was actually really funny. I don't know if I ever read that. Or it's it's a movie. Mm -hmm. I think it was a kids book. They did a really good job making that rabbit just talk found about. it funny because that rabbit was a jerk. <laughs> yeah, he was a jerk. <laughs> I was like, this is surprisingly good for a children's movie. <laughs> yeah. I think, isn't the Watership Down show like illustrated? In like a very distinct style, isn't it like dark kind of? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it called? What's it called on there? I'm assuming it's the same name, or maybe there's some sort of law about I that. It's Watership Down. It's based directly off the book. It follows it pretty well from the episodes I watched. Oh, okay. It's not. I will say though, if you just look at it, it's like illustrated. Oh God. I just pulled it up. Mm -hmm. It's not a children's story. <laughs> like, it kind of is, but it gets, like, aggressive and dark in some spots. Here's the thumbnail for it. It's up in this corner. Yeah. Oh. Creepy. <laughs> it is super creepy. Like, it's, it's rabbits fighting to survive. It's not them hopping along in the woods together holding hands. Mm -hmm. So what age would you recommend the book for? I think you'd appreciate it most if you were in high school or older. You would probably think of it just as rant, like uh, fun stories, maybe younger than that. But I think to really appreciate the story, you have to be a bit older, in my opinion. It was re it was like one of our high school English class books, and I think that was like a very good time for him to read it. Hmm. Hmm. Do you agree, Steve, or do you think differently? No, I think about middle school or high school would be a good time to to go through it. I know I first read it in high school, I think, and I felt like I I got it, but I did a second read through and I felt like I caught up uh, quite a bit more with the story. 
So yeah, and there are mature themes. I mean, I think rabbits die, and a big part is that they don't have any women in the women <laughs> rabbits in the in the warren or whatever. So they have to like go find mates, and mm -hmm. that's it. You know, it's a little bit. I forgot like, about that. They like go steal some girls for a while. They do, yeah. <laughs> or like lure <laughs> girls them. away. Like my like my tunnel's really nice. You should come with me. <laughs> How is this any different from real life? Steve, I can't believe you didn't learn anything to apply in real life with this. <laughs> I need to go steal girls out of warrens. No, no not steal, lure. It's different. Lure. Stealing is kidnapping. We don't kidnap. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to end up in prison based on your advice. <laughs> have you ever taken Kelly's advice? Yeah, I have, and it never ends well. <laughs> what advice did you take? I'm sure at some point I've taken your advice and it hasn't worked out. I don't hand out a lot of real serious advice. I know. My face may look serious when I say it, but I wouldn't. Sometimes it's just to see what people say. So. Or Steve. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you should lure people. It'll work. Let us know how that goes. Yeah, I'll, I'll call, you, call you from the prison. I'll use my phone call. <laughs> Your one phone call to Cal t call Kelly and tell her it was bad advice. <laughs> hey, didn't work out. I'm like, sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. What? Did everyone grade it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone who read it. You can't grade it if you haven't read it. Would you I read it, Andrea, based on our review? Well, it sounds like you guys mostly liked it, except for maybe Steve was bored or somewhat bored. I don't know. It sounded like an A minus for you guys. It's it, kind of, it didn't like uh, teach me anything. It, it, it just was, I don't like just reading stories, you know, I want something more, so. You don't like adventure stories, Steve? No, no, I don't. I, I, I feel like, 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 get me a book on stocks or get me a book on, <laughs> Some marine animal. I'd love to read that, but like. Steve cannot be a book club. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there you have it. Watership Down. I would highly recommend it. It's a good read.